What's good guys, man? Thank y'all for tuning back into the channel, man. If you're new, hit that sub button down below to be notified for every video that I drop, man. If you tune into this video, you really want to know how to be successful on YouTube and gain subscribers, man. Not the fake way, but the real way. I see a lot of y'all paying. I know some friends that pay for subscribers and stuff like that, man. And that's not the real way to go. We want the real stuff. We want real people. We want real subscribers. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like being a na being natural. It's nothing like having having natural things. You know what I'm saying? We don't want the we don't want the fake stuff. But um, number one thing, man, to be able to be successful on YouTube, man. What I have learned through YouTube for for doing YouTube since 2017 is you gotta be consistent. You definitely got to be consistent. If you're not consistent, you're not going to get anywhere. I'm talking about anything in life. Consistency plays a big part. Once you start something, make sure you finish it. Just You got to understand that things do not come easy. You know what I'm saying? Things do not come overnight sometimes like for some people. Some people get lucky and have overnight success and whatnot. But um, when it comes to social media and stuff like that, you have to work so hard to build your core audience that that looks at anything that you drop. You're not gonna all your videos are not gonna hit. Anything that you put out is, is all your videos not gonna hit. That's why you make sure you find your core audience and whatnot. Um I start everybody starts off with zero subscribers. I'm about to say I start with zero subscribers. Everybody starts off as off as zero subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And when I first started YouTube I was trying to figure out how to get subscribers and I won't get no views, I won't get no likes, I won't get nothing, man. I won't get nothing. Then I start doing my research. One thing you gotta do is do, number two, do your research, man. See what everybody else doing. Like, what he doing, what she doing. See what your favorite YouTuber doing right now. See what they doing. Um, do what's trending, you know what I'm saying? Um, but just be yourself, be natural, be original and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Don't copy somebody's whole video because you can get copyright issues like that but make sure you twist it and do it on your own and whatnot but see what everybody else doing see how to get subscribers you know what i'm saying most for most importantly your personality how you how your energy is on the camera people can see right through that your energy gotta be good you know what i'm saying do not do youtube you know what i'm saying do not get on that video camera if your energy is low you're not feeling too good and whatnot do not force it but when you feel good make sure that your energy is good you know what i'm saying all that is good and whatnot man but consistency plays a big part if you're not consistent you're not going to have consistent followers that follow you you know um they're going to subscribe to you for a reason for a video that you drop and you just got to make sure you keep up that momentum and make sure you look at everything that's going on see i will get in depth with y'all and show y'all the charts and stuff like that and i i I'd make that for another video and whatnot um but yeah man um Another thing, number three, man, don't focus on the money, man. The money gonna come. Do not focus on the money. Um, that's what a lot of people do. They focus on the money. Focus on the journey. You know what I'm saying? The money gonna come. If you enjoy and you love what you're doing, that money gonna come. Just stop, just, just, just make sure that you work on your craft as you go. Just work on your craft when you start. See what everybody else doing. And see how you can twist, twist it, and, and, and make your your content better. Because you know YouTube people drop millions and billions of videos every day, but you got to drop, 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 drop. Last year I said, you know what? I'm not playing no more games. I had quit YouTube in 2018. I had took a whole break. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I was going through, but I remember I took a whole break from YouTube, man, and I had to rebuild another channel, which is this channel. And I was at 5K when I quit, but now I'm almost at 9K, thanks to you guys, man, because I wouldn't have a good, I wouldn't have any, I wouldn't have any subscribers, I wouldn't have any comments, and my videos when you're doing, I wouldn't be making no money if it wasn't for y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I do this because I enjoy it and I love it. And this is one of my passions, this is one of my dreams, man. You know what I'm saying? To be able to travel the world, make videos, to be able to take care of my family and whatnot through this. You know, it's so much, it's, it's, this is, this is just a stepping stone to get to other places I need to be and want to be. You know what I'm saying? But, um, it's, it's, look, I don't, it don't matter how long it takes to get to where you need to be. Don't give up on yourself. Do not give up on your dreams. If this is what inspires you, if this is what you're passionate about, you're going to find a way to get the job done. You're going to find a way to complete it. One thing I would say is that, um, 
I don't enjoy working a nine to five every day. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. You know what I'm saying? But I have to. I got to take care of my child. I got to take care of my household and whatnot. But how does it sound to wake up and become your own boss one day? You know what I'm saying? Make your own schedule. And I know it's not it's not easy to be your own boss. You know what I'm saying? Because some of us ain't going to want to wake up and and um work them long hours you know what i'm saying like you got to really work some overtime if you talking about building your dream you got to work some you got to work some over overtime you know to make that stuff happen you know when you get off of work when you get off your nine to five job make sure you you cater to them dreams man so they can come true you know what i'm saying you know don't sit back and look at everybody else and what they doing oh i wish i would have done this and wish i would have done that you should have started you know what i'm saying and I'm pretty sure it didn't come from them easy. They took, they put their hard work in, got off of work, and they grinded. For most of the YouTubers that I look at, they had nine to five jobs, but they made sure they made time for their dreams when they came outside of work, and they was consistent with it. If you truly, truly want this, <laughs> and you want to be successful in it, the main thing you need to do is be consistent with your videos, interact with your subscribers, don't act bougie when you get this amount of subscribers, don't think about the money. Have fun with it. Be passionate about it. You know what I'm saying? See what everybody else is doing. See what else is trending and whatnot. Be yourself. And it don't matter. Look, everybody starts off at one like. Some people get lucky, get 300, 300 views on a video or something like that, the first video. But everybody has a different path and a different journey in life to, to, the, to things. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to have a different path and a different journey. But as long as you stay consistent and you believe in yourself, you, you know what I'm saying? You take the time to cater to your dreams. You can make it happen, man. That's how to be successful on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's how you get 1K subscribers, man. You know what I'm saying? But I love y'all guys, man. I ain't seen y'all in a long time. But we definitely got a video coming up. I don't know what that was right there. But I'm at the park. Read my Bible and whatnot. Got to go in and work later on. I've been grinding, you know what I'm saying? Got some guys, I'm gonna be in a new place soon. So, new content room, new energy, new environment. I'm getting out of the place that I'm in, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's just gonna be a new environment for me, man, for me and my son and whatnot, and better things are to come. I'm out of here. I love y'all guys.